Once upon a time, in a land not too far away, there lived a woman who believed that bleach and bath together brought about beauty, so she bathed in self-confidence. Wherein Maybelline, two shades lighter than her own complexion, this happy clown, would one day take on her daughter and three grandchildren at the time, only one of them happened to be dark-skinned. The story continues. We never really got along, you can say. She was dark-skinned, I am dark-skinned. She was my mother's mother, I am my mother's daughter. She developed scales for skin and bandages as her coat. They said it was skin cancer. I wore adolescent skin coated in half skirts. Some called it a cancerous childhood. Two dying dames under one home. So we fought like caged animals with too much to bear. Our claws digging away at our insecurities like the anger would somehow peel away the God-given brown like the anger would somehow peel away the God-given disease grandmother. I'm sorry he turned your MJ complex into a cancerous complexity, leaving my complexion complete, but do not take your frustrations out on me. Yeah, we never really got along much from what I remember. I was a loose child. She was an uptight woman. I cursed her beneath my breath. She yelled blasphemies atop church hymns, reinforcing each other's notion on a regular basis that this ugly is what dark skin was made of, I swear. The sight of her was like autumn. Her mysterious, multicolored layers dying, shed into the ground every time I was in her presence. It felt as if the cold was approaching, and I swear, the sight of I to her was just a tar plastic bag, grandbaby lugging around bad habits, gathering, raking away at her dead leaves, but, but somebody, somebody had to take out the garbage. I would rather she had substituted God for booze than God for a bottle of bleach. Prove to me that some sins aren't more permanent than others, and this is not what dark skin is made of me. Your split image. Unable to comprehend a woman rocking a swagger of brick but carrying an outer complexity that chipped away like holes in the wall. If only I understood like I understand now. I would have spackled I love you's in our missing spaces. Repainted each leaf until you saw a few flaws. Been marvelous within my melanin show you this is what gorgeous is made of, grandmother. Can you see it now? From the other side, can you see that I bring sight to the blind in my dark skin? I show people that when your vision is bright, the color of your heart is better defined. You can only see the beauty in the autumn leaves. You were my season of transition. You were the beginning of my love revolution. I have begun a love revolution in my dark pigmentation. This is what we've always been made of. Can you see it now? From the other side, is your heart still blind? Or do you visualize in the hue that God intended? Names like New Golden House, Chinese and American Food Takeout, written in red paint stroke script on lit yellow signs, off-white waiting rooms, ketchup, salt and peppered in graffiti, great walls of bulletproof glass, and that same deceiving picture menu Damn you, General Sows are as numerous and unmemorable as streetlights. I was overly impressed by skyscrapers. In tune with the pitch of car horns, drunk off tasty cakes and tap water. And on this particular typical Saturday night, I walked like a trolley into New Golden House, standing in the glow of a wall-sized backlit photo of a man paddling his humble wooden canoe through a dense em emerald green rainforest with an electric waterfall going My horizon interrupted, I asked, do places like this even exist? All nature -y and shit. Years later, far from bus schedules and fluorescent lights, I sat alone in a forest that's wood could only be carved more captivating by time. The birds chirped louder than my ego clamoring for city space. I, a gringo, on the dance floor, trying to loosen up as I watch the trees sway with the wind, firm yet flexible, my broad street posture was useless. So I leaned forward, like a pine tree growing from a hillside, didn't straighten until I reached the top of a mountain. My skyline became a circle, 
My eyelids opened new, overflowing with sky. I stood there until night fell. Me, laid out beneath the stars. Every single one was present, even the ones I knew from Germantown Avenue. I felt insignificance. And that felt good because I knew from that point forth that no man could make me feel that small. I slept dreamless with the night. The sun rose, me, gently, sat still on the horizon, stood up into a waterfall, let Earth's hourglass rush over me. I drank without fear, thought back to me in the Chinese store. Street smart, still dumb as styrofoam. Do places like this even exist? All right, what? so, on the count, did y'all enjoy yourselves? Yeah. Yes. Cool, Absolutely. on the count of three, point at your favorite poet. One, two, three. Yes! yes. 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 Why is it? I like where you're going. <laughs> Watch the trees sway with the wind, firm yet flexible. Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! So, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, uh -oh. life, Firm happening, yet flexible. <laughs> wow. I don't. <laughs> Thank you for co-hosting our street slams. Thank you for come being out to strong the but presents, flexible. The Philadelphia Poetry before Slam. You, before you come out to the Pigeon Presents, practice the your poem. <laughs> And remember it. Memorize your Mem shit. Practice and memorize your poem. Hide your keys. <laughs> <laughs>